welcome back. It's your boy Benny Black. Today we're going to talk about hues and saturations, something that most people underestimate and don't realize that it can make your picture or break your picture. Um, right here I have a picture of Nicki Minaj uh, that I that I took at um at a Philly concert. You know, a lot of artists came out and did their thing. You know, it was a crazy event. So, as you can see, her hair is very pink. Uh, very pink. And there's two ways you can do hues and saturations. Because say I wanted her hair to be green, you know, but I don't want to mess up the photo. And, you know, some people, they take the marquee tool or the pen tool and they chop and cut around the hair and they do all that. No, you don't have to do all that work. Um, you can do something a little bit simpler and, you know, just clean it up and it'll look real nice. So... Uh, hues, and, hues and saturations. Some people end up using hues and saturations actually on the image. I suggest that you do not do that because once again, if you lose the colors that are in the original image, it hurts you later on down the line and you can't get that color back if need be once you've gone so far into your project. So, uh, I already have my window open and you like, you probably like, how do you have this window open over here? Okay. So you just go to window adjustments and then all you do is you'll you will once it opens up the block will probably open up and you just hit the tab and drag it to the area you want to you know as you can see I have my setups of everything on the right because it's just easier for me um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to hue saturation which creates the layer over top of your image so it does not mess with your image and another way you can get here you know if you feel like you can't find this uh, through window and adjustments you can easily go to layer new layer adjustment and then you will go to hues and saturation and it will create another layer over top of your image or images and it will keep this image which is your first layer or background or you know your 20th layer depending on which project you're on it will keep everything the same but it will create a layer over top so, say I want her hair to be green. I'm not going to hit colorize. You know why when you hit colorize, the whole picture gets like this. And that's a lot of work. Because you see how we, that whole image just went flat. I'm going to turn it off. Popping picture. Flat picture. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to, like I said, I say if I want her hair to be green. I'm going to just take the, the hue and I'm going to slide it. Slowly, just to see, you know, what kind of effect I get. Got some crazy effect here, but okay, that's a more realistic green than me doing that on the photo and not being able to go back. So, as you can see, these crazy green all over it. All I do, boom, original image, still good, but I still have this color effect. So, then what you'll do is you'll click on this white block right here on your layer, you click on the white block. And you will get your erase tool, right? And then you will just literally just erase everything else that you do not want. You know, and mind you, this is an example. I'm not, it's not going to be perfect, but I just want you to see what can be done. So, I mean, just literally get rid of everything else. I'm going to make my erase tool a little bit smaller. Clean out of the face. You know, clean up the arm part. Get as close to the hair as I can without, you know, take it off too much. So as you can see, the image is not damaged. And I still was able to change the hair. Or in this instance, you can do that with a shirt color, um, windows on a building, um, the sky in your, in your mixtape cover or your photo for your advertising. Um... I mean, you can do it with anything and everything. And what if you say, oh, well, I went too far and I erased, you know, too much. I just see, I just erased a whole chunk of green out of her hair. And now she got this pink little crazy little stripe, you know, which kind of looks kind of good if you, you know, doing some crazy stuff. But, you know, so say you, you, oh, I messed up. How do I go back? How do I add it? Once again, as long as you're clicked on this layer where you can see it's, you know, messed up black and white here where I erased. 
all you do is you go to your paintbrush click your paintbrush make sure it's on the white palette if not you can hit D or X and it'll flip it back or just hit the uh, the curved arrows right here and it will flip it back to the white make sure it's on the white make sure you're on this square within your hue and saturation layer and all you're gonna do is paint and it puts back the area that you accidentally took out so therefore it's not a situation where it's like oh now I have to start all over again no because all you had to do was that right there um, so it's fairly simple it's not a lot of work to do and once again Original image was not damaged. Untouched. Still looks good. And you would think she really had on a green wig instead of a pink wig. Um, and what I'm going to do right now is show you how, how well this works. I'm just going to switch the colors up again. You know, here, here's that pink again. Okay, now I'm going to turn it into a purplish. Right here. Undamaged pink. Now it's purple to kind of match her rubies or whatever that is. Once again, you ch I'm changing the colors because that one area on that new layer of hue and saturation is what's being adjusted instead of the actual photo. So therefore, at any point in time, if you need to go back and delete that layer, your original image will not be tainted and you can keep moving forward without any problem. So take a deep breath try this out and hopefully it'll come in handy whenever you're doing one of your projects i am benny black you can follow me on twitter at it's benny black or just subscribe once again if you have a how to or what to i will get back to you asap